Hello, and welcome to What's Pissing You Off Wednesday. I'm Kevin McTaggart, the grumpiest comic in Vermont, and What's Pissing You Off Wednesday is where I rant about whatever is pissing you off. If you want to find out how to contribute to the podcast, please read the show notes of the YouTube video or the audio podcast. Or you can even, I uh, post I post a video on Instagram as well. So you can check it out there too. Three different places. Well, more than three different places. But I'm branching out. I'm, I'm putting out the podcast in more places that I think people will watch it. So see what the, whatever the fuck happens. <sighs> I'm just, I'm, I'm a little annoyed today. I've, I, this is the second time I've re- tried to, to record the episode today. Um, the first time I tried to do it, recording it as audio and video at the same time, but the Audacity program has the audacity to not work today for whatever fucking reason, so we're just doing it by video. So I think the video is going to sound fine. It should sound fine. It usually sounds fine. I might just do it from video from now on because I'm sick and tired of dealing with the audio portion of it. We'll just have to fucking work it out somehow so anyway this is how you're watching it this is how I am. I'm trying to look at the goddamn green dot on the left side as I'm looking at it of my fucking iPhone so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna try to do that when I'm looking at the screen because that way it'll look like I'm actually looking at the screen giving you the behind the scenes info that you probably don't need but I don't care if you want it or not I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you I'm gonna give it to you all right it's what we're doing we're going with this it's what's pissing you off Wednesday for January 19th 2022 there I remembered the date I'm so glad I remembered the date I know in some episodes I don't mention the date but in this episode I'm remembering the date so you're fucking welcome. All right. And hopefully next week I remember the day too, which will be, I don't want to say that date. I don't want to confuse it. Today is January 19th, 2022, when this episode comes out, but you're watching it probably five years from now. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is I should move on to the first topic of the day. It is brought to us by Eldon Douglas Blackmore. His are always pretty lengthy, but whatever. Um, when three inches is made out to be some incredible measurement, I have been telling every woman that I've known that I'm enormous, only to be laughed at and pointed at like some sort of circus freak. Swap over to snow, and people are buying milk, bread, and other staples in bulk so that they'll not run out before the roads are clear again. When I was a kid, most folks drove near, most folks drove rear wheel drive vehicles, not even front wheel drive vehicles or all wheel drives like today, but everyone run to work, school, hairdressers, and to the VFW. When did we all become driving pussies? <laughs> it's interesting how like, as cars become more advanced and more safe, we become more dependent on them. And we want them, you know, so we get more nervous on the road now. It is pretty frustrating how we get more nervous on the road now back compared to the way it used to be. I think I think we're just not as scared about things. I think I don't think we were scared about things as we are now. I think we're simply, as a people, more more fearful of stuff. So, like, three inches of snow is fucking terrifying. I don't know why. It shouldn't be, mathematically speaking. It's really not that big of a number. I think if people really wanted to deal with driving in the snow, just just do it. Just drive carefully in the snow. Sure, people, it's a nervous thing to do. But, I mean, it, it's only three inches of snow. You don't have to, like buy half the goddamn grocery store 
to, to ration out just in case something bad happens during the snowstorm that brings three freaking inches of snow. You know, it's, it's not a big deal. It's just, people just need to calm down. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, ignore it by any means, but I just, I just think that we need to, like, as a people, just, like, calm down and not treat it like it's the end of the world. You know? We've gotten, we're almost through a virus pandemic, hopefully. So hopefully, like, we can, like, calm down and deal with you know, a three-inch snowstorm. But we always seem to freak out when that happens. Which is stupid. We need to stop freaking out for three inches. Three inches is not a big deal in any sense of the word. Like Eldon was talking about. It's just stupid. We're just so goddamn dumb. And it's irritating. And I just, I just don't know. I don't know. It is, it is, it is an interesting thing that he brought up. You know, it, it is an interesting topic. It is an interesting thing that, like, how 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 much of a wimp we are now on the roads or in winter. We're, we're in New England. We should know how to deal with winter. We should be okay with dealing with winter. You know, it's just fucking irritating. Almost as fucking irritating as me not staring at the green light like G.W. Foley told me to. I'm better at it today. I'll get better at it. I don't know. I'm looking at it now. So maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's fucking irritating. I'm staring at the green light, okay? I am. Maybe that'll be the title of today's podcast. I don't know. I haven't come up with the title yet, but I have some ideas. And now that's one of them. So let's go on to another rant. From Peter Pardo. He got. This is a conversation. That uh, that we had. He got banned on Facebook. Because he had to create another account. I thought. He, um, I thought his identity was stolen again. I thought his account got hacked again. But that wasn't the case at all. And. Um, he, he got banned from Facebook. For quoting from the movie. Sling Blade. And they both were quoting from the movie Sling Blade in his comments of a post, by the way, that he wrote. He says, I happen to say, I reckon I'm going to kill you. Mm -hmm. I do a terrible Billy Bob Thornton imitation. And I'm like, wow. And then he, he, he was banned. I think he's banned for like a month on Facebook just for quoting Sling Blade in a Facebook post. I think I talked about this. I was banned, like, for, like, a, a day of commenting on Facebook. Because a friend of mine, when I asked her uh, what's pissing you off today, she told me she was pissed off that these guys were following her. So I wrote, men are the worst. And then when I did that, I got a warning from Facebook. So I was kind of in Facebook jail or Facebook parole or something. Facebook probation. I don't fucking know. but It's stupid that like, you know. Well, actually, it's good that Facebook has a system like that where it catches people saying things like that. But it's also stupid that you get caught for, for, for that. You know, for saying something like that. For quoting, quoting from a movie and, and you get banned from Facebook for it. You get banned from Facebook for the stupidest crap. Whereas they ban other people for more serious things. It's like they also ban you for just quoting from a movie, which is what Peter was doing. Quoting from a slang play. It, it, it's ridiculous and it's stupid and Facebook is just so dumb. I wish I could stop using Facebook. I wish I didn't need to use Facebook anymore. I really just use it for Messenger, to be honest, is what I use it for. And that's pretty much it. 
Like, I do post stuff to, like, promote things and stuff like that. And occasionally when I'm feeling snarky, I'll write an, an opinion and post it on Facebook and see how, see all the hate comments pour through. But none of those people ever get banned. But that, but, but Peter quotes a movie and he gets banned. It's just stupid. I guess it was dumb on his part to say a line that says, I'm going to kill you in a Facebook post. They think, oh, he's actually going to do it. But it was actually a quote from a movie. He appealed it and he still lost his appeal. So he's, I think he's done for a month from Facebook. So that's not actually a bad thing with him being done from, you know, Facebook for a month, banned from Facebook for a month. I think that's fine. But it is, it, 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 Facebook needs to fix their, their system, you know. It's good that they're banning people for the shit that they're saying, but sometimes they're banning people for for stupid reasons, and they need to fix those reasons. Thank you for the contribution, Peter. <clears throat> Here's one from Twitter, from at Joanna Duff. People who still have reindeer decorations on their cars. It's January 13th. Yes. Yes. Well, it's January 19th for this episode, but this tweet was January 13th. And, oh my god, seriously. <laughs> Last year, I think, was perfectly fine that we um, stayed in the Christmas spirit for as long as possible. But this year, I think, you know, nope. The rules, the old rules go back. You know, if you had, like, reindeer antlers on your car leading up to Christmas and maybe after the day after the Christmas, that's fine. But if 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 you're still driving around with reindeer antlers, Christmas reindeer antlers on your car and it's January 13th, you should get your car ticketed, possibly impounded. You should get your driver's license revoked. We need to treat this shit seriously, all right? Because we can't be, be celebrating Christmas all year long, as much as that would be great to do, it's just fucking stupid. So take your goddamn antlers off your car. Nobody cares anymore. It's not Christmas. Make room for Valentine's Day. Stick a heart on your car, a giant heart on your car. Do that. And then take it down February 15th. But really, if you have any Christmas decorations on your car, then take them off, please. Also, if you have any Christmas decorations on your car, if you are someone who puts Christmas decorations on your car, don't be a friend of mine. Really, because I want nothing to do with you if you have Christmas decorations like reindeer antlers on your car, because I really not want nothing to do with you in that regard. Please just stay away from me. Please, I know that the Christmas spirit must be moving you so much that you want to put antlers on your fucking car, but nobody else gives a shit. What if those antlers fall off and cause an accident? Have you thought about that? Nobody wants to die because they got speared by car reindeer antlers. Nobody does. No one. No one does. But thank you for the contribution, Joanna. Let's see. We have two more. I think. Yeah, we have two more. The next one is from D Craft. She's pissed off at art that looks like they threw a paintbrush repeatedly at the canvas. Then they charge two thousand dollars for it. And people act like you're uncultured if you don't like it. Yes. Thank you. I've been waiting for a contribution like this. Oh my god. I, 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 I've I gone into museums and I've seen shit that she's talking about and I'm just like, I don't get it. It's not art. It's not art. Maybe it is. But it, to me, and I think several other people, it's not art. No. It's just, it's, it's just infuriating is what it is how like something like that just like painting a, you know a, a canvas you know and that's it where it doesn't really look like anything where it's just like it looked like oh he just painted with no like real design or anything like that just utter shit 
goes for $2,000? I'm in the wrong profession. I shouldn't do stand-up comedy. I should just do art now, where I, like, just take a um, bucket of paint and just throw it on the canvas. $2,000. That's, that's the way art is now. Have we really, are we really done with painting? Have we done, have we painted everything? Have we made a painting out of everything nowadays? Where we're just like, you know, throwing paint on canvases now. And it's all like $2,000 worth of art. Is that where we're at now? That's disappointing if that's where we're at now. I'm, you see like, you see stuff like that now. I see stuff like that now. And I'm, I'm just disappointed in our society that, that that's a work of art. That's like $2,000. What idiot bought that? I'm not even mad at the painter. I'm mad at the idiot who bought that $2,000 artwork that looked like shit. That's what you, someone could take a shit and throw it on a canvas and smear it on the canvas. $5,000. I think that's what it would be. Honestly. With your name written in the bottom. All in shit. All in poop. $5,000. That's what that's what that would be. That's where we've come to. As a society. <sighs> it's devastating. It's devastating that it's like that. It's fucking irritating. It's stupid. It's not art. Who oh, art is anything. No, it's not anything. When art's nothing, that it's fucking nothing. It's just fucking laziness. It's just stupidity. It's just dumb. And you're stupid for buying it. You're stupid for buying this art that means nothing. Oh, it's interpretive. Oh, it could mean anything. You bought a art display, a work of art that has no identity. That's what you fucking did. It's basically what you did. I hope you feel good about yourself for buying a $2,000 nothing. <laughs> a $2,000 um, artwork that's having gender identity issues. Because it can't, it doesn't know what to identify itself as. But you bought it for $2,000. So good for you, you stupid idiot. Uh, thank you for the contribution. Let's see. Um... We have one more. It's from Sean Lassard. I think I said that right. I don't know. I ask that every time I say it. He's pissed off at trolls on TikTok who have no originality. I know what he's talking about. I saw his TikTok live the other day. Um, follow him on TikTok. Find, I think you can search him by his name. On TikTok. I don't remember his username right now, which is terrible on my part, but who fucking cares? But yeah, it's like these people, these trolls, just say like these annoying stuff. Like they were calling him, they were saying that he was trans, you know, that he was transitioning when he clearly wasn't. They were just picking on him and saying like the most unoriginal things. And it's like trolls on TikTok are the fucking worst. Trolls on TikTok are the worst because it's like they have the most unimaginative comments and do they hurt your feelings absolutely but at the same time what the hell are you doing if all you're gonna do is talk shit about somebody on tiktok you know you're going on tiktok with the with the um with the desire to to talk shit about everybody's video when in fact you don't even have a profile picture when in fact you haven't even made a video yet you're going to go on there and make fun of everybody else's videos that's that's what you want to do that's what you want to do with your life is be a tiktok troll you really need to think about that if that's that, that's really what you want to do with your life is just go on there and hate comment all the live long fucking day. Should be ashamed of yourself for wanting to do that. Do something more productive. Why don't you, someone asked me, why don't I ask people what they're grateful for? Why don't you say something nice about someone on TikTok? If you can't say something, if you can't say something nice 
about someone on TikTok, then don't say anything at all. Seriously, don't be, don't, don't just say something, especially in like a live video, you know, or on a video itself, you know, just, can we just stop saying the hateful comments on social media? Why do we have to hate people? Why do we have to continue to talk shit about people and talk people down? And th that's why we're so goddamn divisive as a fucking country. Because all we do is like talk shit about each other and, and joke with each other and call each other names. And it's fucking useless. It does nothing. It solves nothing. It cures nothing. It makes things worse. If anything, it makes things worse if you do that. So think about that the next time you're going to be a goddamn TikTok troll, you stupid fucking idiots. I'm posting this on TikTok, and I hope you see it. If you have any desire to, like, make fun of people, make videos of your own, and see the hate comments come through then. How will you feel if it was your video, and you read comments and they were hateful, or you were on live and you read those comments? How would you f fucking react to it? Huh? Tell me how you would react to it. You wouldn't like it, would you? So then maybe you shouldn't do it. <sighs> well, I feel better. And I hope that you feel better as well. Not the TikTok trolls, but everybody else who watched this video today. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, rate, and review wherever you're listening. To, if you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, subscribe, rate, and review. And if you're watching this on YouTube, um, like the video and hit the subscribe button to my YouTube channel. I'm posting other videos, not just the podcast videos now. So check those out um, or not. Whatever, just check them out. And happy What's Pissing You Off Wednesday, everybody.